applications or even many applications uh, in projects. What will happen is uh, application A will send application A will send a file. Okay, they will send a file to us. Uh, then what? This is a file. I, I can say it's a file. File data. The, they they will drop the file in some folder. Okay, files. Yeah, so for analysis purpose, so graphically uh, using visualizations, basically pie charts, bar graphs, uh, pie charts, uh, bar graph, yes, sir. trends, trends. Yes, sir. Okay, so I can do it easily on the data. Okay, so not on the flat file. Okay, so even and also like uh, many, many comp let's say. <clears throat> olden days what they do is uh, i told you these things <clears throat> let's say uh, lic if, if you see in india lic right now it's a different uh, development but what they used to do is lic uh, uh, offices will be there uh, uh, across the state like uh, every district they have offices they collect the money okay and those information stored in the files Every office, they store the files, uh, you know, whatever the data is to, uh, collected uh, amount or uh, customer data. So all those they stored in the files, they have systems, but that systems, you know, uh, they have a UI kind of thing. They enter the data, it will go to the files. From that files, they will send it over the uh, end of the day, they will send it to um, a server, one of the server. So they will ask us to process those files. Okay, what we used to do is we read these files, all these files, um, uh, and we insert into a database so that we can do some kind of for first is data we can store it so that we, we can have any other applications which can read from the data database. Okay, so that is the purpose of flat files. Okay, we call it the flat files. Okay, so there are this is also an integration, right? So application A, application B, sending the fly files. Previously, we studied application A, application B are sending on uh, JMS messages, right? So they are sending JMS message. We have our web method in between uh, web methods, our web methods. We are integrating uh, the data uh, and we are inserting the database so, like that, right? Not only inserting database, we can send it to any other application also. It's not necessarily uh, uh, we have to insert in database. We'll see how we can call other services in the next uh, uh, web services. But this is how like application works, like application A, application B, they are sending flat files and then we are reading the data and we're uh, using web methods. We are parsing the data, we are inserting database. This is one way of integration, okay? Other way we use JMS, okay? Also, like you know, some applications are writing into database. We are reading the data from the database. We are doing some other logic, implementing the logic. That is also kind of integration. Are you getting integration? So web methods we are using again. I'm telling this integration because we are working as an integration developers. We are integrating <coughs> different <coughs> applications. <coughs> okay. Right now you learn JMS. You learn HTTP, you learn uh, database. Now we are going with a flat file. Okay, I am repeating again. We learn JMS. Everyone <coughs> knows about JMS. Okay, we are learn database. So someone is written database. Let's say notifications. Notifications. Mm. Okay, so that you can remember for a long. Okay. And then delete it. Yeah, universal message. Correct. JMS and universal messaging. Universal messaging. Okay. So we learn HTTP. Now we are learning X, uh, flat files. Okay. Even we learn like uh, uh, files yeah, with XML. Yeah. Files with XML. XML data. File with XML data. This also we learn so far. 
okay so uh, we learn bits and pieces we learn jms separately we learn database separately we learn http we learn uh, files with xml right so how the application uh, when we actually work in projects right we will integrate these things some uh, some application uh, will write it data into database okay some application writes the data into database the moment it is written okay we need to send that message to a jms are you getting yes sir so uh, we we get a notification from the database we'll get the data we'll read the data from the database okay we will publish the message on to jms so that some other application can connect to the jms and pub, uh, consume that data that kind of integration we do okay some application may be send the data on jms okay now the data once we receive the data okay we may need to send it to rest services we may invoke a rest service maybe you heard this one rest api okay okay or soap api we will learn these things okay so we call it as a uh, web web services both call it as a web services okay so we may sometimes require like this so we may receive message on jms okay then we will convert that message uh, and call the uh, this one rest api like that we make it okay or we will read the data from the database okay all the records we will convert it into a flat file and we can send it to some other uh, application like ftp we can send it over ftp we learn ftp also we, we yes. heard but we have not tested yes sir yeah we heard but we have not tested okay yes. so we can send it on ftp so other application can uh, read that file and they can process it okay so these are the ways we integrate applications okay these are the protocols basically i can say this is one protocol database is application okay but ftp http is a protocol flat flat file is a file but we can consider it as a protocol kind of thing files is a protocol for integration ftp file with xml data like this okay now what we are doing is now i let's say application a writing a data customer data into a flat file okay what are the different types of our flat files we will talk about it in this chapter once we get the data right i wanted to insert into database okay that's a requirement so what is flat file okay i think in the first beginning i explain like we will yeah, have we kind of yeah delimited delimited records or positional records positional records positional records positional records we call it also fixed length because fixed length yes yeah. fixed position also we have fixed position that's a very very important uh, like any technology okay it's not like a uh, 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 this one web methods it's a tipco i'm giving the names also it's tipco, not like you know mulesoft. yeah tipco mulesoft uh, and uh, there are dell boomi is there there are um, like you know workito such this there are many uh, tools are there but popular tools we you know is web methods one second one is tipco second third one is uh, mulesoft mulesoft okay so if you know web methods it's easy to learn tipco easy to learn and mulesoft also concepts are same are you getting concepts are same technology is different the way like uh, maybe if someone told you or not if you know java okay learning uh, .net is also easy yes. okay same yes, concepts everything but uh, syntax coding different style coding okay same so ding limiter uh, is is very important uh, like many projects we used to do delimiter records or positional records files processing we call it as a file processing all these are file processing okay so now we are going to learn this one so uh, what i will explain you is okay uh, how to read this file how to uh, parse that file Uh, okay um, then you have to use a loop and you have to insert into database that part you are going to do 
okay this part you will do i will explain this one okay so everyone will know like you know how to use adapter services yes. when you are inserting database adapter services you should know loops also okay why i am telling you need to come to know also loop also okay so little bit we learn loop everything again repeating so half of them are repeating but we are doing okay now let's say when i talk about this uh, delimiter a positional record how it looks like okay any questions feel free to ask me okay i will go a little fast today okay and now you guys know more uh, at least you got a uh, hands of experience in web methods i will go a little fast okay so delimiter records when we say delimiter let's say let's say something like you no know, customer data okay so we okay so before uh, delimiter records we know uh, xml right how xml looks like everyone okay no need to say again xml everyone should know everyone knows xml so that is one way of representing the data okay let's say i have xml data customer data customer so no? we will write it like this and customer will be there so everyone knows the difference between xml and uh, html correct yes, xml and html uh -huh. html is a data representation uh, uh, data presentation HTML is a data presentation. Yeah, XML is a data representation. Okay. Yes. Every time, so we have our own tags. Own tags. Yeah, and it should be well formed again. Well, well formed. formed is nothing but opening tag, okay. closing tag. Closing tag. Same. Yeah, there should not be any nested tags. Okay. Let's say okay. name. Name is there. Okay. So, like this, we will write. customer name let's say add uh, name and uh, let's say first name last name okay okay and uh, this is name and id let's say i will use id okay two fields let's say i'm doing Two fields. This one, guys. Again, I am telling you, whatever I am explaining, right? End of the day, I will give you the assignment, right? You should be able to do. Okay. Uh, if you say like you know, I don't know database. So the concepts I am telling you is database. So you know database. How to use adapter services? Okay. You should not say that I, I cannot do. Okay. I don't know what is database. What is that? Okay. so you have to show me develop and show me whatever we learn that only we are going to do but what i will do is i will ask you this like this take a message on jms insert your database this kind of a logic i will ask you okay if you not do then it will be a big uh, uh, i need to think whether you guys are learn or not okay you are getting right if i have a flat file hey read that flat file data and insert it into database minimum basic things you have to at least you have to show me okay otherwise it's a issue like i wanted to date uh, current date how can we get it do you okay. know get date in transformer we get it okay good so yes yeah at least you pointed that point right that is appreciated so yes you remember something okay okay so this is xml data okay but in a flat file suppose let's say if i'm using a delimiter record okay so delimiter record let's say um, i will say like no here comma and comma comma 1 this is if i say comma comma is my delimiter record will tell to the web method saying that hey comma is uh, delimiter record so first record is uh, name f first name last name and id like that okay and uh, like this let's say sai theta 
ओके आई डोंट नो इज साई आई विल कम लास्ट में सेवन तेजा ओके डोंट रिमेंबर सो लेट्स से टू शिवा प्रसाद ओके एंड थ्री सो इफ यू सी दिस वन इज खामा सेपरेटेड ओके we call it as a delimiter record we are not specifying the length of each column okay so this is called as a delimiter records okay there are complex delimiter records are there composition records are there we'll talk about later i think those who studied there is yes, a composition there yeah so we'll talk about that but it's a basic first step we will learn basics and then we'll little bit add 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 in uh, we, we'll go okay so this is a delimiter record sometimes the delimiter someone says like a you know, pipe symbol also it can be anything okay pipe symbol so when we say pipe so all sure. columns are separated with a pipe symbol so okay like this okay and this one is pipe symbol okay this one is pipe symbol like this are you getting so this is the way uh delimiter records will be there someone says select like semicolon also like this also it will be there okay is semicolon is a uh, delimiter records everyone is got it right yes okay anyone knows uh, cvs uh, csv csv fine okay no, comma separated uh, file csv uh, uh, like no let me let me create one so let's say i have this data same data okay generally i'm placing in comma i'm just using comma okay i'm saving this file the desktop Let's say if we'll create a folder. So what I'm doing is, uh, let's say this file name is first dot c s v c s v or c v s c s v c s v c s v. I was separated. Let's do it like this file. Yeah. So let me go to web methods folder. Here it is stored. I don't know. Is it there? I have that folder on my desktop. Let's see. Okay, save as. So oh, it's there, but it's not. Let me go to here. Let's do it here. Okay. If you see this one, if I open this file, right, it will open. If you open an Excel sheet, it shows as a comma separator, but not comma separator. Column value. It's a kind of a column value are you getting but this is actually if i i, I can open it's showing separate separate columns okay but actually it's a uh, if i open a text editor it's a comma it's a comma file are you getting csv so csv is nothing but it's always a comma separated file okay but delimiter it can be limited delimiter can be anything like pipe symbol it can be pipe symbol it can be you know uh, what you call it? It, it can be pipe symbol it can be a semicolon semicolon oh, where i okay we are talking about here. yeah Okay, right. So now, what I am explaining is, we'll do two ways. First, I will explain. You guys will see, okay, how I am processing the file. Okay, then I will again do the same thing. You can, you guys also will do the same thing. Okay, two times and three third time I will give you an uh, assignment. You will do and show me at the same time today only. Yes. Okay. So, first step is I wanted to read this file, customer data, which we have seen now. It's a comma separated, okay? And then we will read this file and we will insert it into database. 
okay so now first i will start my integration server everyone should have uh, my skill is started okay if not just started start and keep it ready Okay, so connect it. Let me connect. Now I'm processing customer data. Okay, I will create a customer package, customer flat file. Flat file process. Okay, so given proper name, let's say I'm using a customer data and processing uh, those files. Okay, so a given it's a big name, but I can you can reduce it. Let's say how can I rename? So refactor I can do refactor or rename package rename. How can you do package rename package? No, retract is not the one. Refactor, we have to use the refactor is a property is reload. Sir, you have told we cannot rename package name. Mm, yeah. We can't. Okay, so you remember now. We can rename. Okay. So we can rename. We can rename. We should be able to rename. Uh, because you know templates, when we create a template, you remember? Templates also be renamed, right? Yes, sir. Okay, let's see. Uh, but it should be renamed. Package should be something. My, I think you guys can check in your system. Maybe uh, it will be there. Something is happening. It's not working. But we create, when we created a templates, okay, let me copy paste something uh, file. So whether it will allow me to rename because paste, paste, paste. For me, it's not even paste, allowing paste also, copy paste also. Copy. Hmm. Not allowing. Are you guys also the same? We did many times. Okay, let me create a folder, so template folder, uh, then template package, template package. Hmm? We created many times, so why should, why it will not work? Folder. No, sir. Something we set it after that it's not working. That I can say. So, Something we did, some property we set it after that is not working. No. Uh, okay. But we learn packages also, we can do. We did. Okay. So uh, I will come back, but this time uh, you remember packages rename is not possible. Okay, because we are not able to do so, we can see. Okay, now I'm creating a folder customer that file. So I can write first that file processing. Okay, I created a folder. 
it's not necessarily always the same name but generally it's a best practice to have both name same okay that is what we said okay now i will create a folder called uh, flat file service and we'll create one more folder generally now okay how we can start is first we'll create a flat file dictionary okay first step next yes. step we'll create a flat file schema from flat file schema we'll create a document yes. we'll create a document okay so those who are not studied also just remember this is the way it works first one is we'll create a uh, flat file service service or uh, schema flat file schema no. then we'll create from that no. we create a document and we'll go with a workflow service okay to process the file so first step is we'll, i am going to create is document dictionary okay so this is one is customer so what i will say is customer first dictionary okay let me create folder also dictionary separate folder okay generally in projects we create a dictionary separate folder okay now under the dictionary folder i am going to create a customer dictionary so dictionary is nothing but we are specifying all the fields of that flat file okay it's contains first name last name second like that okay we'll go through the uh, proper definition okay but you should remember that it's a dictionary <laughs> is nothing but all the fields related no that uh, comma separated uh, whether it's a delimiter comma separate we'll say it's a um, schema okay the schema will specify but in the flat uh, in the dictionary will specify all the fields which are there in my flat file okay so we know this is first name last name and this one is uh, id okay so that <laughs> we specify in the dictionary okay let me see let me explain first 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 dictionary i'll say dictionary we will write full name okay customer dictionary once you created dictionary okay first step is here record definition is there hmm, composite uh, composite is there field definition is there but we will we'll go with the uh, record definition first okay we create a new okay. saying it's a customer okay under this i am adding new okay here we are specifying whether it is a composite or fields so yeah field definitions since we have three field definitions fields first name last name and id i am selecting field definition <laughs> we'll see what is composite definition later okay but field definition first okay basic we'll learn first then we'll go to the little bit uh, advanced now are you getting everyone what i am doing i am creating a dictionary yes. so in, in the dictionary i created one first step is under record definition i am removing the customer okay. yeah i am creating a new it's a customer i am saying customer details it's a customer uh, customer so if i say customer details these are all related to customer okay generally we use uh, capital letters uh, in our projects starting uh, whatever the record we are specifying right if it is employee then employee if it is student student okay okay and again customer employee student maybe we will have any number of uh, different uh, names will be there someone is use banking someone uses like it depends on the project to project name will change okay don't think that only customer student these are there okay these are for our learning only okay in a projects the record different field names will be different okay so customer i created so under the customer i'm going to create all my elements new so i'm creating fields field definitions okay so here there are two kinds of 
extra tribes are there. So nth field is nothing but our delimiter. Okay. Okay. Nth field we'll use for delimiter. Fixed position is nothing but I specify. Okay. This record instead of specifying comma separated, we'll have a position one to ten like this. So uh, one to ten characters. Okay. Uh, if name is one to ten. Zero to start with zero. Zero to nine characters is such an F name. L name. Second name is starting from ten. I'm just specifying like fifteen is my last name. So this is L name. And uh, ID which is starting with sixteen. Uh, I'm saying twenty. So we yeah, are specifying the position of the record. In that case, my data looks like this. I think everyone knows now. Here, yeah. so four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then. L M Charlie Kama. Uh, these are three, three six. So this one should be now eighteen. I need like space, right? Something, bit. Otherwise, it will not get. Okay. So eighteen, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then I D one like that. So my position next uh, side will be here, and it starts from here only. Okay. Okay. Like this, and then two. So this is my positional record, fixed position. So when that is there, we'll select this one. Now, but nth field we will select. Okay, this is for comma separator. Basically, comma or delimiter. It's not comma. Any delimiter record. Okay. So I'm this first one is I, I'm selecting this F name. P name is F name. Position is position one. Position one. Starts with zero. Starts with zero. Position always starts with zero. Zero. Okay. Yes, and then you can add next row here. Last yes. name. Okay. Then you have to give it one. One. Okay. ID. ID. Three. Two. Okay. So if you if you say mandatory, I think you know mandatory means it should present definitely. Yes. Okay. So value should be present. Suppose let's say, uh, so yeah. Suppose let's say I've given this one, comma. Okay. So suppose let's say if I made mandatory this one, it works still. Giri is there. Okay, comma is there. Okay. So that means L name is null. That not null. It's considered as a null. Okay. And then one is considered as ID. Okay. Suppose let's say if I give like this, first name, last name also are given mandatory. First name is there. The second name is null is there, right? Uh, then it throws error. Uh, Even the comma is there, it throws error uh, because it's a mandatory. Uh, okay. Uh, At least one space should be there. If space is there, invalid uh, record. If space is there in between the commas? Yeah, it can say space is a uh, character, right? Space is a character, okay. so it will not throw error. Space is also character; it can take. Sir, if okay. there is no F name, L name, ID showing, total all null values, null. Yeah, if it is not there, then it can it throw. Uh, okay, suppose if you are not mandatory, suppose let's say not mandatory, all are optional, and there is no value here. Okay. Like this, so first name, last name, ID, all are null, null. Okay. Okay, sir. But in projects, what we do is generally is we'll make it some fields are mandatory. I need ID, at least ID should be there, right? Otherwise, if I go inside your database, what is the issue? Use, correct? So some fields we'll make mandatory. Yes. Okay. Right now I'm not showing you, but some fields we definitely need mandatory. In real project, we do like that. Okay. Now, first I create a first name, last name, and this one. I created my structure. Okay. Now, if, even if you see this one is F name is zero position here. You can see here. Suppose let's say uh, L name one and I. So you can go and edit also. Suppose let's say if you want to edit, you can edit also position. Suppose you created, there is no up and down. You can drag it like this, okay? Or you can uh, keep it as it, and uh, you can change the values also, okay? So here also you can go move up, move down, 
we know already these things okay we can use it so rest of the things are there format type alternate uh, this will uh, discuss later no need to uh, focus on much on this one so data types you can use it like string integer but we'll see later okay but you know all this uh, right side you have a properties kind of thing okay now we have defined our structure okay what are, what is the structure of our record we call it as each as record okay the word i am using is record okay record r e c o r d record okay uh, these are the records now we specified first name last name id as per our this one now after creating uh, this dictionary we need to go to create a schema flat file schema there we'll specify whether it's a comma separated or delimiter there we'll specify okay uh -huh. i'm specifying here customer schema flat file schema customer customer generally we'll write like ff flat file schema okay now create manually or create from a sample file if i have a file i can use it this file whatever we created this file i can use it here this file and from that we can specify like no comma separated delimiter because everything it can come automatically okay but right now first i will go with the create manually okay i'm creating a manually once i create manually okay so here we need to specify record parser type this is very important guys okay just focus is on one is delimiter so this is i'm specifying it's a delimiter record okay so i'm specifying my uh, data is delimiter delimiter record it's a comma separated no delimiter maybe delimiter can be pipe symbol any character okay we can specify okay record character this one is line line separator so after this one here right you are not able to see but there is a slash n will be there in windows it is slash n okay so that's that, that is nothing but a new line character those who written java code uh, like writing into a files have you done anyone java uh, writing data into a file no okay so slash n is nothing but slash n new line sir uh, so next line explain we yes we new line new line so linux it will be different okay in linux it will be slash r slash n okay new like cat so carriage yeah, it yeah so when we are uh, we will ask the guys in, in real projects no uh, generally when we before working we will ask so is it a, uh, are we processing uh, in linux or processing in uh, windows okay if we are processing windows files windows files are linux files okay if this is windows files you consider as a uh, slash in or new line character your yeah, new line character is there okay uh, or you can directly type slash in also it works okay but in uh, what you call like unix format we'll go with a carriage return carriage return okay so we'll come back all those things sometimes we'll use tab also specifies is a new line we can uh, consider it as new line tab also okay so generally we'll go with a slash new okay this is clear right delimiter a record is a character you should know this one record what is the slash okay field or composition so we are saying that it's a character okay so uh, this one is field or composition we give delimiter what is our delimiter here comma i have a comma okay sub fields we'll come back this sub fields okay when we go with a composition okay the sub fields needed so other than this okay uh, <coughs> suppose let's say uh, yeah uh, record uh, starts at position 0 so this is why we you specifying uh, in the dictionary position 0 if in dictionary if this uh, position is if it starts with 1 sometimes i wanted to skip two positions maybe first record i wanted to suppose someone is says like a you know, dummy number record is there first record is dummy record are you getting 
something dummy record is there okay so dummy record they add like this something so i wanted to ignore this first record okay so in this case my position starts with one right so we'll say position starts with one but here we start with zero okay so i'm complicating okay so in the flat field schema starts at zero okay uh, no starts as position this is actually nth field okay uh, we'll talk about later this now to work with our right first what we did is in the flat field schema delimiter we selected character we entered uh, okay uh, whether it's a comma separated or a pipeline sim pipeline separated that we set it okay we just left and here set default record is there right we have to select our previous dictionary we created just dictionary and the customer but we selected okay now i am saving this one okay dictionary is created okay to parse the data we need dictionary uh, so structure schema but i wanted to process it right? uh, i need a tree structure inside my uh, flow so that i can do something okay so i need to create a document for that okay so first we'll see document how to create so we click here okay we'll select this one if you see this one there is a create document type is there okay select that one document will be automatically created in the same dictionary where it is there uh, schema where the schema is there their dictionary will be created uh, document type document type and what is the uh, format is whatever you have a uh, schema name is there right? with dt will be appended are you getting this dt document type okay. show me that from set to Okay. Let me go to this structure, flat file structure, FF, uh, flat file schema. Okay. So this one is Actually dictionary. Have to this... set the... No, no. So you have created this all this thing there. You have all done this one. And then yes. we have to set here. Set customer. Okay. And I'm selecting the dictionary, the dictionary which we created. Okay. Then it asks customer uh, uh, what are the root element. Basically, it's a root element. Okay. okay. So then, uh, then go to the flat file structure. This one is flat file definition. This is a structure. Under structure, you select this one, and at the top, you have a create document type is there. Yes. You click it. Once you click, it automatically creates a schema file as a document type definition. Document type. <laughs> Okay, this okay. everyone knows document type. We created like this one, how to create this one, right? We know document type, how to create. But from the flat file structure, uh, flat file a schema, flat file schema, we create document type. Okay, so that document type name with uh, name ends with DT document type. Okay, everyone got it, right? Okay, sir. Okay. The one I mentioned is again I'm repeating. Yeah. First we'll create flat flat file. What we'll create first one? Dictionary. 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 Okay. First dictionary. Then flat file. Flat file schema. Okay. From schema, from flat file schema, what we create? Document type. Yeah. Flat file document type. Okay. So this document type is created. So that file file its end file name ends with document date. Okay. Now we created. Now I will uh, write a flow. So I wanted to read this file. Okay. This file is there in my C drive, uh, desktop, on desktop. I want to treat this file and I wanted to create um, a store in the database. Correct? So now, first one is I will create flow service. Okay. Flat file processing. Okay, service. Thank you. You can give any name. Okay. Now, how to read a file? 
Do you remember? We did something. Read a file. Yes, sir. Get into file. Get file. Okay. Get file. So where it will be there? Under? In public. public. Huh? Okay. So get file. So I think you remember. So if you are using a uh, write file, a string to file, okay, we have to we have to enable uh, this one. You remember we, we, we should go to the file. Yes, sir. We should go to software IG indication. Yeah, there is a flat file. So that fly uh, we need to add our file path. Yes. Yes. Okay. For get file, there is no need. Okay. I'm reading this file first. Okay. So this uh, file need a file name. Okay, I will give that file name, whatever the file name is there. So this is my path. I'm giving that file name. Okay. What I'm doing is first, I'm reading a file. Okay. I'm not doing anything now. First reading a file. After that, I will write a log file to see it's working or not. Okay. Just to see file is working or not. So what I will do is whatever the data is there, I will map it to message just to see if it is working or not. Okay. Now I can run this file, see if it is working or not. Step by step development. Okay. Run as flow service. No input. So it is read as byte. Okay. Instead of string, it read as a byte. Okay, but I wanted string, right? Okay. Suppose I want to read as a string, load as is there, I can go change it as a string. I can do it like this, right? Okay, I can save it. So I can run again. Run. Yeah, I got the data. Okay, there is a uh, uh, new line character is there. It is not showing here, but there is a new line character. Okay, if I go to the my um, where uh, log files, I think everyone is focusing here, not the other side. Shiva, I think you are talking something. Okay. So, software AG, integration server, mm -hmm. instances, default. Uh, default, where is default? After default, tell me. Logs, right? Logs, right? I wanted to see logs. Logs, me, logs. Yeah. So I'm going here. Yes. Reload. I'm go to end. If you see here, end, this is only see here new line character is there. Correct? It's written in the different different file lines. Okay. So that's okay. So I'm able to read that file, first of all. Okay. Now I wanted to this one is a, there is no comma separator, right? Uh, it's a, everything is a string. Okay. If I wanted to insert into a database, I need each as a column, right? So as a tree structure. Correct. Now, why I'm saying no, uh, you'll come to know. Now, I will have this one, this, this method, this package is very important. Dublin flat file. Okay. Under public. Flat file, we have converted to values. Values. So we'll use convert to values, which converts our flat file data into a tree structure. Okay. So that I can use, I can do, miss basically it converts into an XML structure. Okay. Let's see this flat file structure, right? So if we have a data, string data, I'm mapping to FF data. So this convert to values expects this is a flat file data. It's asking. So we, we are given the flat file data. There is a FF schema. We created this schema just now, correct? This schema, the customer schema. So that schema we need to give. I'm right click, copy this path. Okay, I'm going here. I, I'm pasting here, that path, schema path. Okay, I have done that. So this gives actually, output gives FF values. Okay, but I wanted a structure, output structure, right? This DT schema just now we created, right? I'm copying, I'm dragging here. Okay. 
that i will say customer data okay so if you see that structure is there no record this is the structure it will be converted so this record i am mapping it to here are you getting we'll show again whatever i did okay so yes, so once is done this one okay let me put it mapper so just to see like now i don't want some data i wanted to remove it okay i don't want output by this data this data this data all this that i don't want okay i need only customer data only i can right click and draw okay i don't want this one also okay leave those things remaining okay okay i got i got okay let's let's restart Okay, it started. Okay, it's saved. So what I will do is, I removed all the data. I just keep this one. Everyone knows how to drop that. Why I did? Okay, so just to see, like now output, I need only few fields. I don't want many. Okay. now i wanted to run this one just run run as flow service because i hard coded it here okay here i hard coded my you know file name i think you remember everyone here i don't want to hard code here i want to pass some input also so then i can go here i think everyone knows this one how i am doing okay file name okay i do okay here uh, input i will go instead of uh, here i typed right okay i will remove this one i will map from here i can do right i i can select these two in line um my in is not working okay oh, okay i need to delete first i need to delete and then map it okay implicit mapping is done okay this one is got it right now i saved it i think you got it uh, why i am doing like this everyone okay just given file name during the run time I, i will give file name so that i can uh, you know uh, change if required i can change the file names that's it nothing else got it right everyone what i did okay yes, if you see here my output delimiter record see okay if you see here delimiter record i if if you see first name now it's in the tree structure f name is mapped with giri l name previously it was oh. a string correct now it is in the tree structure right are you getting data is organized right it's like first name last name i can get it first name means shiva if i want to shiva i can get the shiva prasa last name previously how it was there when i looked at the log logs it's it's a comma it's a string oh, okay correct correct everyone got it right what i'm what i did is how it's working yes yeah. hmm? sir okay now here suppose let's say i have a tree structure i know my uh, pipeline like you know uh, if i see here uh, i know this is a repeated structure first name last name id is there i can go and call my adapter service i can insert i can do right yes sir okay so that is where uh, like uh, we work like when, when we do the uh, actual projects 
So it is passed everything data. I will go and insert to database. I can use loop. We we learn loops. So yes. I know like in, input array we need to queue. Correct? Yes. Loops everyone knows input array and output array. Okay. So I will go and select this path so that I can give my input uh, path loop. Okay. I paste it here. Okay. Like this. Now I'm I'm not going to show uh, database in this session. You guys will do. Okay, everyone. So what I do, I will do is I will write into a log file, basically. Okay, I don't want to do database. You guys will do. Okay, just to repeat, I am going to uh, re uh, this repeat is working, and then each customer data first name only I will have ID only I will write into file, or I can directly concat and I can do. How can I do that? So rightly I will find the path. Here I think you know percentage. Percentage, path, percentage. So that means it and will set this answer. It's a local variable. Okay. Everyone knows global variable substitution. So we will go to the server under uh, where we will do settings. settings. There will be global variables. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Now we did this one. I will go and run. Okay, it's working on it. We'll see. Yeah. Okay, so the same yeah. file I'm giving. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So logs are printed. Uh, this uh, log is printed. Last data is Shiva. One is printed. But if I go to the, my log file, at the end, if I go, yeah. see, three lines are printed. First names. Correct? So loop is also working. Correct, right? Everyone got it, this one? How we can process the data? Yes, sir. One second, actually. Yeah. So, I'm going to create again, same, whatever I did so far. You guys also doing the same. Is that fine? Okay, sir. Custodian. Okay, let's see. Okay, under this, I'm creating one more folder. Okay, I'm creating a dictionary, right? Dictionary. Okay, first I'm creating a dictionary. Everyone knows first we have to create a flat file dictionary. Okay, first revenue dictionary. Okay, here what I do is right click new. New. Now we will not give customer like whatever the this name is there, record ID. Okay, we have to go and say this is record ID, right? First one. Yes. Cust I will take like that, cost. Okay, under this one, I will add the elements. You know, like it's a field, same field definitions. Yes. So here, nth element. Okay. What I am doing is, so this is first name, last name, ID, right? For this this uh, customer uh, type records, we have first name, last name, and ID, okay? First name, position is zero. Now it's one, position is one, not zero. Why? Because this cust is a record ID, okay? So my first okay. name starts with one. So I will give one, okay? Now add. You are getting right. Y position I given. Yeah. Name is one, two. Now this one is I. I'll give three. But we need to add one more call as record ID, which is zero position. Okay. You can give for starting any time, anywhere. You can give first also. You can. But that position record ID is zero. Okay, because this is my record ID. Okay, I created like this is finished. I wanted first this one move to first so that should be organized. That's okay. I did like that. Now one more I will create click on this one, right click on this one only. The way like we created first, right? Rightly. New here is R E V. R E V. We will give. Okay. Next finish. 
so record because both records are there i just to say like na in the same file i have two different types of records are there like that okay so id here i can like text fields here in the position first one is id so before that record id i can say record id is my 0th position okay next one is id and amount id is one amount revenue basically revenue amount okay this is two okay i click this one you got it at everyone what we did is same okay i think this one how to create everyone knows just added extra record id and record id okay this is schema we created oh, sorry the dictionary we created sorry okay now i'm i'm going again with the uh, schema. schema okay so plus revenue that with schema okay here also create manually so if i have a data right this file also i can use paste it there i can do that i will show you that one more time okay uh, okay let's say if i wanted to do like that flat file schema okay just giving next create manually right browse a file if, if there is a file somewhere written okay this same just saying on the desktop it is there my desktop web methods customers okay it will show from this one create flat file directory with the schema a uh, sample has a delimited record yes sample has a delimited record okay so it automatically says delimited record uh, is it a delimited record it asks some questions okay so we can go and enter everything it will give okay don't go with that okay so what i'm suggesting is just the way manually you go and do okay so i select a delimiter we know everything is new line character right so slash yes. n okay here we know comma separated comma. both records are having same comma okay i am giving this previously what we did is if you have single record so you set this one okay so if you have only one type of data records okay that is previously we did right everyone is dead customer data is only there but now we have two types of data are there one customer one revenue so we should not set this one okay everyone got right we should not set this one we should set default record set only if file contains one type of data only all the records are of same type okay all the records are of same format but if it is different we should not set here what we need to do is flat file right click shift so are you getting this one default record when to set default record we have to set only when we have one the record file. they have one, one format same everything is same format go but here two different types of records are there one is customer one is revenue previously if i have only customer data right everything is customer data then go and set it set default this is an interview question or even uh, exam question i can say default record set we will set only in case the file contains all the records of the same format same type are you getting Are you giving this record ID is equal to zero in both? Yeah, in both cases, uh, record ID is zero because why, it's starting why, right. Why is okay. that? Okay, why? Because you are talking about you are specifying this format first, customer, right? So yes. this position is zero, one, two, three for customer. You are saying cust, okay? Yes. But for revenue again, you are creating a separate schema yes. under. So this is also zero, one, two, one, right? Two, yes. Like that. That's why we specifying zero. Our EV is zero. Uh, means the, uh, you are saying that cust is a record ID. 
Yeah, That because it's a, yeah, because it's a, yeah, record ID is a cast. Record uh, ID is a cast. Uh, yes, we don't give cast. That's why confusing sir. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because everything every time it's changing, right? So here okay. cast is there, rev is there, cast is there. So instead of giving their cast value, have we just generally given a record ID? Okay. okay. Okay, now what we did is we just given a schema and then we came back here. We know like when to give this one default record set. Okay, now yes. since we have two different types of records are there, we'll click here, rightly add here. You have to do like this flat file structure here. I have to click new. Are you getting everyone? Okay, yes, sir. we'll select record definition, no record reference. We'll select record reference. Okay, we'll go to the customer or dictionary previously we created. So cust we'll select first. Okay, yes, you want the record ID same? Yes. Okay, we'll finish it one time. Now again, I'm selecting the same for the second one, record reference. You have to remember this one, record reference. We are not selecting record definition, record reference. Okay, cust, select revenue. Yes, and finish. Okay. You got it? This is what we do. Okay, somewhere is I mentioned this is yeah, delimited. Actually, it should come. This is slash in. Okay. Ama. Ama. Okay. Now everything is good. Now this one same. Okay. Everyone got this one, right? What I did is I sir. Okay, I'm showing again. So far, whatever did I'm deleting everything so that one more time you will remember what I'm doing. Okay, so we have this one. First thing is I'm going to check the file how it is changed like this. The data is coming like this. It can be anything. Okay, maybe it is coming like this. So when you look at the file, you have to think. Oh, this contains two types of records. One is revenue, customer. Okay, your mind should come like that. Okay. So this is my record ID. So all our EV is there, right? All these are one record type of records, which is a revenue. Okay. So second is cust is there, cust is there. So this cust, no, these are all one type of records. But two different types of records, they put it under one file. Okay. You got it, right? Our mind should come like that. As a developer, you should be very quick to understand what is that type of file. Okay. So, okay. That's good. So what I do is, okay, this uh, revenue, I have two fields, ID, amount, revenue, customer, I know first name, last name, ID is given, good. Now I will go to new, first step of we know how to create, first flat file, dictionary, okay. I'm going to create dictionary, right? So it's, it's a customer, first revenue, dictionary, first revenue, dictionary. Okay, we will give proper name, but now here I'm giving custom dictionary. Okay. Now first step is the way like we create a, a flat file dictionary, everything is same, but here we'll create a new, but you, this time you think this is same. It should be same, whatever there in the file. Okay. It should be same. So I will take this value first cost, or you can take revenue also first. No worries. Whichever is there, you want to take it's, it's up to you. Okay. There is no need to like first you have to take this or that I created this one and then again new I will tell I, I know this one how to, everyone knows about this one cut nth record because it's a comma separated record that's why I taken nth so this is ID and revenue so I will add before that this is revenue which is record ID record ID I'm just saying record ID in the record ID okay we know that position is zero. Okay. So I create two fields. One is ID. Everyone is getting right. What I'm doing again. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, revenue amount. I'm giving this is my position two. I finished. Okay, I'm going to create one more, which is go to the file. Naraj, you are also getting right. Sai Teja, what I'm doing. Are you getting or not? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So new, okay. Now again, field definitions. 
this is I need to take nth record. So I will talk this record ID zero position. I need three fields, four fields this time. First name, last name. Uh, first, first name. name. Okay, position one, last name, position two, ID, ID. three. Okay. Okay, I know customer is there, revenue is there. Okay, now I did all these things. Now uh, save it. Uh, we know how to uh, create a extra step is flat like schema. schema. Okay, so first revenue flat file schema. Can give any name? Just giving this one so that I can know this is FF is flat file schema. Okay, like that. So I create manually. Manually. Okay. Now we know delimiter here. There is a uh, record. This is dash n. It is comma. comma. So this this subfield is very important. We'll talk later. Okay. But very important. One question will come from there. Okay. Now I'm just saving and I need to go uh, because we are not going to set this one. Default set we are not doing. If we are doing set, it will. If the file contains only one type of data, we'll go and set this one. Okay. Naraj Saitija, it's clear, right? You are going to develop and show by tomorrow. Two types okay, of. Data. Okay. Now, since we are not setting here, okay, click on here, uh, right link, new. Shiva, you got right. So Anusha, you are also getting right this one. What I'm doing. Yes, sir. Okay. So record reference. Record reference. Selecting this one. Customer. 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 Okay. Now second is again I'm selecting New. second one. Record, record reference. Next dictionary. Eleven. Okay. Yes. Now we have done. So after that, you just select this one. We know the way like we uh, create document, document type. Document type. Create it. So automatically document type will be created if you go and see record, not this one. Which one I did? Revenue, cash rape, sir. Yeah, yeah cash rape. Okay. See, we have a two kinds of uh, structures are coming. Okay, that's a really good thing. Okay, so we have done so far here. What I can do is I will create a folder again the same way like the flow service. Flow service. Flow service. Okay, so I'm creating one more flow service, actual flow service. <laughs> this is cost revenue flow service. That with service. Finish it. We know everyone is okay. We can read the file. We know the way. Okay. File. file get file get file okay. I go can to give pipeline the file name. give input as file name yeah so i can create an input uh, here as a file name file name okay that i will go, go here tree, tree structure pipeline mandabot okay load as it give stress give string string okay okay so then file is read now for uh, that data I wanted to convert to values. 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 WM flat file. WM flat file. Up here, sir. IS is. Uh, flat, flat, flat file. Convert to values. Convert to values. Drag. Body string to FF data. SF data. String to FF data. SF, SF schema should copy, copy and copy paste. Paste. DD. Not DT, actual schema okay. we will give. Okay. Uh, yes, yes, sir. Okay, we paste it. Okay. Yes. Now this DT. Yes, 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 schema. DT profit to drag and drop. Drag and drop. In customer. Customer details. Drag the FF values to. Okay. And then you save it. We need to give them. Okay. No, I think I, I dragged some, something wrong. Okay, so I need to delete this one somewhere. I did wrong because I said dragged something different. Oh. 
It's not allowing me to delete. Okay, let me delete this properly. Okay. So I'm again dragging here. Okay. So I know this body. You need to map it to every data. So I'm going this one. Uh, no, not this one. This, not this one. This is wrong. I need to go That's to the past revenue. Path, copy. Here, copy. Paste it here. Okay. Now this is done. So here, I need to drag this GT here. First revenue, document type. First details. But this time, if you see here, we don't have like you know, the no record record with the ID. Previously, if you see this one, what is the difference now? Previous one, if you see the, uh, this one, is record with no ID. No ID. Card is so this this one that node is not there. Okay, directly okay. elements are there. Why? Because we in this, we have uh, inserted the record with ID yeah. plus zero. So we mentioned this record ID, record ID at this zero position, right? That's why it is coming like that. Okay, you got it, right? So now yes, this sir. one I mapped it here. Okay, everything is done. I can go and run now. So which one? I need to run. This. Okay, so run as flow service. Here I need to give path. So this file. Okay, so. One more thing is, if you have Notepad++, right? You can open this Notepad++ in Notepad++ to get the path. I will give you one good idea how can you do that. So I open it, my Notepad++, right? This one, right click here, right click here, find path to clip, clipboard. Everyone got it? Right? Yes, sir. So if you do like that, there is no need for you to take copy paste the paths. So it will automatically give you the complete path. Okay. So that's why every time I suggest to open in the notepad plus plus go full file path to clip clipboard. Okay. Do like that. Okay, sir. Okay. Now run it. See what is happening now. If the revenue record is there, revenue data is there. See under revenue ID MOD is coming. See, correct? Mm -hmm. or if, if you see custom. And a cust, customer first name, last name is coming. Okay, Giri first. So, so whichever the record is starts with cust, it's coming under cust, customer. Okay, cust. Whichever record is coming under revenue, the data is coming under fields revenue modes. Right? It looks good, right? Now, I, if I enter it insert into a database, I will use two loops. One loop, okay, I wanted to iterate on correct exactly so we know everything what we can do so now i will go here customer i will copy, copy that. this one one loop is my customer loop. i will insert okay so you can do the insertion here but i will do like you know just a debug log first now okay for you you can insert it you got it right i'm not showing that you will do okay so now one more loop, I will use it here. This loop is for uh, revenue. So again, I will click here. I wanted to try it here. Okay. So revenue table is there. You, you create an adapter services for revenue. You create adapter service customer. Okay. Yeah, you can try to test first, uh, first test them and then uh, drag and drop from the, there and map it input side. You got it right, everyone? Yes, okay, so this is second, second way. Okay, I need these two, you have to develop and show me. Okay, not only this one, you have to go through complete chapter.